Hey guys, A28 Find Adventure here. I borrowed a bicycle rack from a friend of mine and it was made by 1UP USA. This thing is awesome. Let's check it out. So I borrowed a friend's bike rack. It was made by 1UP USA. It's very well built, all aluminum construction, very lightweight very sturdy and real easy. Seriously, it takes just less, just seconds to put a bicycle on the rack. Mine was a two inch receiver. So it was real easy, you just slide it into the receiver hitch. It has a big Allen bolt on the bottom side, which is a security bolt. So not every Allen wrench is gonna fit. And I really doubt anybody has an Allen wrench that'll work for this. And that's all you have to do is tighten it up and you're all set. There is a bar that runs across the bottom. And what you do is you loosen this knob and then you pull up on that bar and it allows you to tilt it. And you can tilt it into the storage position. You can tilt it into the bicycles are going to be on it position. And then you can also tilt it all the way down. And you know, if you needed to open the hatch to your car or you needed to, you know, get to the bike that's in the rear, whatever you may want to do. After you have it, you know, down to load bikes on it, it's easy. It's easy to use. It's, it's you know, not a lot of moving parts. Everything on it is replaceable if something gets damaged but it's pretty sturdy and thick aluminum. I don't think that's gonna happen. So you have these little levers on the side that you push down and pull up to move the arms back and forth. Those arms will hold the tires. easy using these arms. They just slide up and slide down. They lock into place. Again, like I said, it's all aluminum construction. This is the two bike version. All of the one up bike racks come as a one bike and then you add on. So you, this one has the second bike edition bolt it on and then you can add a third as well maybe a fourth I don't I didn't check into that but I have seen a, a three bike version of this around so it's easy you start with the one bike and then you just add on now in comparison to other bike racks out there they're very close in price this one is very unique very strong very lightweight and very simple to use so let's put a bike on it. My bike weighs about 30, 35 pounds. Just place it on there. These tires are 27 inch and they're really wide like three three and a half inches <laughs> super wide but they still fit again 
this is my first time using this bike rack since I don't actually own it, but very impressed. It's very sturdy. Once it locks in into your receiver hitch, there is no, there is no wobble or shaking or noise or rattling. So it's pretty cool. Of course, I like it based on looks. You can get it in silver and black. I like it also because of the way it's engineered. It is very simple and quick to use. And there is no plastic parts to deal with because moving them around and sitting them on the floor, those plastic parts will eventually break. So as you can see, you know, putting the bike on, taking it off, is really easy. Underneath it, to move that bar that folds it up, you just have to undo this little knob, pull it up, and there you go, and it locks into place. Always tighten that knob down when you have the bikes on it or after you've taken them off. Always keep that knob tightened down. Not that it's going to go anywhere, but in case you hit a bump or something. Here I'm just demonstrating again how you fold it down, tighten the knob, you can loosen the knob, pull the arm, fold it back up, and again here I am tightening the knob again. But that's what you want to do. I'm really impressed. I drove at speeds at 70 miles an hour on the highway with two bikes on it. It was super stable, super strong, never had a problem. You know, here I'm showing the Allen wrench and how you tighten it. And you take it off the same way. You just loosen it and then it comes right out. None of this crawling under there to put some pin in and some cotter pin into a receiver pin. None of that. And since this is a security type Allen wrench, it's very doubtful anyone's going to own one or be able to steal your rack. If you're a little insecure about it, you can always put a little cable lock on there to hold it, give it a little more security, if that helps you sleep better. What I'm showing now is how to remove the second bike section. And it's just these Allen bolts. And again, these are security type Allen bolts specifically made for the Allen wrench that comes with the rack. You take these all the way out. But I, that's what I found to be the easiest way. Da, 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 da. Come on, hurry up. Get the bolt out for God's sake. All right, there it is. It's off. It's very lightweight. You can hang this on the wall in your garage or sit it in the corner. I would recommend hanging it on the wall. You don't want it to fall over and cause damage to itself or something else. Here I'm just going to put the bolts back in and tighten it down. I know this video is long, but I'm just showing you how I used it. Since I was using it the first time, I'm hoping this will be helpful to somebody else. I'm really impressed by this bicycle rack by 1UP USA. They do have um, a large website and you can order all kinds of stuff from cargo racks to different styles of bicycle racks, accessories, locks, even t-shirts and everything else. They even make a tray that you can put on a roof rack 
which if I had a small compact car, that might be something I do. Right now, because of COVID, you're probably looking at four weeks to get a rack. But it is definitely worth the wait. I was so impressed with this rack. It's definitely something I'm gonna save up for. that so easy to take off well I hope you like my video on the one up USA bicycle rack that I borrowed from a friend this rack is awesome it is well made it's all out of aluminum it's lightweight you can take it apart it's easy to store go to their website and check it out I think you'd really like it I hope you like the video please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. See you next time.